Hi everyone, it's Nicolette from Dooney and Daughters. Today I am going to show you how to decoupage our ceramic coasters so that you can make your own set of personalized coasters. These make a great gift. Um, they're also perfect for around the home. You can customize them to suit your decor. They are a fun and easy project, so perfect to do with the children as well on a wet winter's day. Um, so follow along and I will show you all the process and all the steps that we go through to create these. So let's talk about everything you need to decoupage your coasters. So firstly, you will need your ceramic coasters. These are the tiles that we have. They are unglazed, um, which makes it perfect for decoupage. You'll need your glue medium. I have mine here in a jar and a brush. We tend to use a slightly older brush um, when doing our decoupage. Then you will also need some nice napkins. So I have two smaller ones here and I'm going to do two of the pink and two of the blue and some scissors in case you need to cut them um, and then some sandpaper. So I've got 240 grit. So nice and fine um, and it'll give a nice sanded edge. First thing you'll need to do is prepare your napkins. So most napkins are two or three ply, which means that they have two or three layers of paper and you need to take these back, back white ones off. So just pulling the edges and you'll be able to pull the backing off like that. So I have taken the white backing papers off as you can see that's the front and then the back is very translucent so you can see the full cover sorry the full color on the back there as well so that's the back and that's the front so once you're down to one ply you are ready to go so i have cut my napkins into little squares these are small napkins um if you're using a 30 by 30 you can actually use one napkin to do all four um, but it is really nice to have different um, different but similar napkins so you've got a bit of a set. So I have got my glue medium and my brush and what I'm going to do is just glue just the top. I don't want to do the edges yet. So brush liberally all over. Because it is an unglazed ceramic it can take quite a bit of glue and you want to pop it all over, making sure to get right to all of your edges. Perfect. Okay, so now, very gently, uh, we want to place our napkin on, making sure that it is going to fully cover. And you don't have too much playtime with the napkin. As you can see, you can lightly pick it up. And then straight away, putting a little bit more glue on our brush, starting from the middle and brushing out, we're going to do another top coat of our glue medium. And that's it, just as you can see, brushing it out, this A gives a nice top coat, um, but it's also a great way with napkins because they're so soft and delicate, or fine, I should say, um, you get, it's a good chance to brush out all of your bubbles and wrinkles. Now napkins always will have a little bit of wrinkling, so that's part of the beauty of it. Here we go, and that's done. And we will let it dry while we keep working on the others. So my decoupage coasters and the napkins um, are all dry now. So now I just need to sand off these edges and I'll then have a nice smooth finish. So what I've got is my 240 grit sandpaper and you're just going to gently sand uh, the sides and you always sand away from the uh, edge I suppose you don't want to send up and down because you don't want to accidentally pull it back so as you can see just like this nice and easy and it will all come away 
from the edge just like this. so as you can see i have sanded off all of the edges now um and i do have a few little bits where it's a little bit loose but that's okay because we're going to do a top coat of our glue medium anyway as we do want to make sure all of our edges are down and this time i will run it along the edge as well so we get really nice smooth finish um, you can also once this is dry do a couple of coats of your glue medium on the back so that isn't um, as porous I suppose as it is now because it's unglazed so just like before load up your brush and just run it from the center all out and then making sure to get under any edges and push push them out I often do a little bit and then use my fingers just to run it along and make sure everything is down so I'm just going to do that for all of these so that's it my coasters are now finished as you can see they make a great project to do um, they make great gifts you can do this with children and yeah you can do anything to them really you can create them so they work perfectly for your home or something really special for your friend friends um i hope that has been informative and that has answered all of your questions if you do have any questions pop them in the comments and we will get back to you we also have lots of information up on our website www.journeyanddaughters.co.nz thank you